In northern Spain, after the fall of Santander, General Franco moves into the spotlight as he takes personal command of the drive on Gijon. There on the northern coast, a few miles from Oviedo, the dynamite-throwing Asturian miners have held out since the beginning of the war. But now the insurgents, Moors and volunteers are advancing. And in describing the battle, I use the words of a reporter who was there. It's a battle of ghosts, mud and blood-smeared ghosts, struggling hand to hand in a fog. Legionnaires crouching and climbing from rock to rock, every now and then one straightening up and plunging down with a bullet through him. The insurgents pressing forward, groping almost to the muzzles of the Asturian rifles and machine guns. Hand grenades are bursting, men are yelling, bayonets are being used as daggers. The struggle lasts for an hour and then the Asturians fall back into the fog. And in China, it's the same scenes and sounds of war. Tung Chao on the outskirts of Peiping is in ruin. In Peiping itself, Japan is in control, and as it retires, the Chinese army leaves behind almost all its equipment. Japanese army lorries patrol the streets, but the saddest sight of all are the 4,000 men of the Chinese 29th Division who were taken prisoner. The sword hangs over their heads, and need I remind you once again that this is civilization's 20th century. <laughs>